guy. Mouth here. Uh, there we go. Another nice little large mouth there. Now these last couple fish have actually come the next day. Me a little while to figure out what these fish wanted yesterday because I hadn't really been out to this lake in about a month. And I started out a little deep. It didn't seem like they wanted the lure a little deeper, so I switched up and went a little shallower. And yesterday that, that seemed to be the ticket for them. That I wanted something that ran a little bit shallower, so. Today I've come out here and decided to start the day fishing it a little shallower. And I've already picked up three fish. And they seem to be a little bit bigger than some of the fish I was getting yesterday. So I think I'm on the right track as far as figuring out where these fish are sitting. how and what they want to eat. <laughs> A little smaller right at the boat. Little guy. Little, little smallmouth there. That's a nice fish. Real nice one. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. That might have looked like just a random cast, but due to prior knowledge, I know that this back area back in here has sort of a flat with a whole bunch of weeds on it. So I'm just working this jerk bait over the top of the weeds and I came out with my best fish yet. <sighs> See the weeds that are all over my lure right now. That's probably a good four pound fish at least right there. Yeah, that's a nice fish. Nice and fat. Sitting back in here on top of those weeds. Could be some more back here randomly. weeds come up to about uh, right now they're down about three or four feet 
And since I know this lure goes down to about that, it should sort of just nick them or keep over the top of them. It's often a good place to run these jerk baits. Right over the top of a, a weed bed. down all the way out here there's a bunch of weeds sticking up probably only about five six feet deep back in here See my lure just got all caught up in them weeds. Well, folks, I think that's going to about do it for this show. If we learned one thing, well, jerking will catch some fish. This show is good at showing that just because you're fishing a certain bait and you're not getting fished doesn't mean that you're fishing the wrong bait. The first day I was out, I was struggling, getting a few little fish and then switched to that same bait but a shallow runner and started getting some a little bit better fish and then today I came out and ran shallow all day and got even better fish. So come on out here to Lopez or just about any other lake around here and give jerking a try. It's a pretty easy technique. And we'll catch a lot of good fish. Thanks, and be sure to check out our next show.